good to be here. Thank I you. know you've come to talk business because you wore jeans. Yeah, they're kind of tight, though, man. Got my shorts <laughs> in a wad. Yeah. <sighs> um... <laughs> I'm sure you know that your name came up recently when a doctor got himself into trouble. Uh, have you heard about this? Oh, yeah, I've heard about it, definitely. You want to discuss it? Yeah, I'd love to talk about it. Um, basically, I saw Lyle out here, and I saw you throw my name into the ringer. Yeah, so because I read the paper, yeah, and my I, job I is to that. inform people as exactly. to what's going on in society, not accusing you of anything. Okay. I, I mentioned that you had been in the news. Well, that's the problem. See, people read the paper to be informed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you read the paper and you get misinformed. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to do, with all due respect... Mm -hmm. And in defense of USA Today and some of the other papers, yeah. I'm sure when the doctor was con convicted, um, that's how they got your name. It's, I, I wouldn't want to make it seem like they're making up the papers at LA Times. Well, no, basically, I was, a, one of the, this, I was one of the patients of this doctor. And then later on down the line, he got into all these other things. But mm -hmm. a federal judge basically said, Hulk Hogan, you don't have to testify. This trial has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I'd like to do is, with all due respect, inform you mm -hmm. and everybody else that's misinformed <laughs> by the newspapers. <laughs> yeah, come on now, because no, I'm already no, no, nervous. No, no, I'm, no, I'm no, talking no, to a man about right acute now. steroid use and everything, no, no. and you but twice my size. Basically, um... <laughs> Thanks. But ba <laughs> thanks a lot. No, you've but, always uh, been twice my size. When you were 12, been, you were I brought twice a picture my size. I know. I've got a you picture were... for you guys. But anyway, basically, um, I'm upset, outraged, and mad, and all that other kind of stuff because basically the paper speculated. When my name got thrown in the ringer, it turned into the Hulk Hogan trial, and they didn't direct the focus on what this thing was all about. Mm -hmm. um, somebody that had got involved in a bunch of illegal mischief, I, mm -hmm. I would call it. And basically, when the papers speculated, and then when there are a lot of lies told in the courtroom, the, the papers printed these lies as fact. And it hurt me, it hurt my family. And on top of that, I was different than a lot of the people that name, names got thrown in the ringer. There's, there are millions of kids that have believed in me and what I stand for, and basically it, it put a dark cloud over everything that I believe in. Mm -hmm. So and let me do it like Mike no, Wallace no, might do no, it. No, no, let me do it like Hulk Hogan might do it. Let me do it like Hulk Hogan might do it. We both got to assume a Right, right on, <laughs> right on. Well, let me get you straight now, okay. then you can ask me anything. Wait, now, I read the paper, Hulk. Well, you ain't straight to me, don't mean me nothing, man. man. Listen to I Hulk Hogan. I read it in the paper. Okay, first off, what I am mm -hmm. is what I am. Mm -hmm. I'm a real American. I love my family. I love my God. I love all my people that believe in me. And basically, this isn't the Lyle Alzado story you're going to hear out here. Right. Because, like, the picture, do you have the picture? the picture that I showed you when I was 10 years old. Oh, absolutely, league. absolutely. You, can you Sandy, that show that picture, because it's an amazing picture. OK, Look that's that. me when I was 10 years old on my Little League team. Damn, I man. Weighed, I weighed 196 pounds. Look how fat my head was. The hat barely fit on my head. You but were my size then. I was, I was 196 pounds when I was 10 years old. When I graduated from high school, I was 300 pounds. And right now, I'm about 295. Uh -huh. So basically, I was insulted when um, Basically, the inferences or the speculation said, well, all you gotta do is take a pill or take a shot in the butt every day to get to look like Hulk Hogan. And basically, I've trained 20 years. I'm 38, 37, I'll be 38 in a couple months. Oh my God, why'd I say that? But I've, tra <laughs> I've trained 20 years, two hours a day to look like I do. Mm -hmm. But the things that I am not is I'm not a steroid abuser mm -hmm. and I do not use steroids. Mm -hmm. But there's a situation where steroids, Hulk Hogan, and my private physicians have something all in common. And these are the situations. When I first won the world title in 83, I was wrestling almost 300 days a year. Mm -hmm. And on two or three different occasions, I got hurt in the ring. Right. And thank God I made the right choice. Because at the time, I had to make a decision of going into surgery, have my back, my deltoid, my bicep cut and reattached with staples, or do the sports therapy route. Mm -hmm. And if I was to get cut on with a knife and all this type of thing, basically I'd be in a sling, and a year later, well, we don't know what's going to happen to your career. Correct. And at that time, I didn't have any money. So right. basically, I made the right decision. And that sports therapy involves hours of the ultrasound to get the blood going again, the electric stem to get the nerves going, the deep muscle massage, and prescription drugs by my p physician that I trusted, legal prescription drugs, and those involved basic anti-inflammatories and a synthetic male hormone, which is a form of a steroid. Right. And on three different occasions, I had the same type muscle injuries. That is the extent of Hulk Hogan's steroid use. Now, this doctor that you're talking about, is that the same one that's been in trouble and convicted? Well, basically, I'd rather not comment on that, but my okay. private physicians, okay. you know, I don't want to speculate on this thing. The trial is over. The jury's made yeah, their I'm, decision. I'm cool. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm here to talk I'm, about Hulk Hogan. I'm, that's cool. But the thing is, 
you know, when I sit down and think about this thing, like you just talked about Clarence. What was it? Smoking marijuana or something? Yeah, you know? in college. Yeah, so. okay. Now, what if we were to speculate on everybody that's in the Supreme Court because of Clarence? And we'd say, well, Arsenio, uh, maybe because Clarence smoked a little dope, man, do you think everybody in the Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Court's getting high? I mean, that's, that's what happened to me. Basically, when they saw that I was a patient of this doctor's, everybody started speculating. Well, my God, Hulk Hogan's a patient. He must be involved in all these illegal things and everything. And that's when the federal judge stepped in and said, Hulk Hogan, there's no reason for you to testify because you have nothing to do with these issues at hand. Okay. And basically, that's where I stand. And I just wanted to clear it up because all the people that believe in me and believe what I stand for, I mean, you have to take negatives such as this big issue of is Hulk guilty, is Hulk involved, and you have to turn negatives into positives, and that's what I've said the whole time, and it's what I believe in with my heart, is basically, if you turn these negatives into positives, and my theme is if you train, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and believe in yourself, just like I have done, brother, you can have everything you want out of life, and I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. Okay, we'll take a commercial, come right back. Thank you. Ringside all the time, and I see your eyes light up when I'm getting my brains beat out. I'm saying, Arsenio, help no, me, man. No, Arsenio, no, no. Arsenio, it's really help me. You never that's, come down to help me, man. That's worry you see in my eye. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm oh, worried. I'm smiling, going pop no, around my old I'm bald like, head, oh, man. Oh, I'm a hulk. I'm a maniac. That's <laughs> worry. No, because you know, Lal and I were sitting out here talking, and I, I, I mentioned, I said, you know, you got, you got the wrestling commission and and all the stuff that's um, coming out about Hulk Hogan. Talk about the other athletes and everything. As a matter of fact. Um, what do you think about the WWF and other wrestlers? Do you know of steroid use? Well, basically, I've learned a whole heck of a lot about speculation in these last three weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, the bottom line, you know, I can't name a figure. I mean, I could sit here and say, well, the whole WWF is on steroids. Mm -hmm. Or I could say, well, maybe there's nobody on steroids because the bottom line, I haven't seen these guys, you know, taking the pills or taking the shots. But basically, what is what is going to happen now to clear this whole issue up, and we'll know in a few weeks. Yeah, Vince, Vince McMahon, you're yeah. exactly right. Vince McMahon has come out, and we are the only entertainment business. We're right. entertainment, folks. You know, we're the only entertainment business that drug tests right now. We drug test for cocaine, for all other kind of drugs right now. And now that this whole big steroid issue has arisen, it's become front page headlines, we want to stay in the headlines now. The WWF wants to stay on the sports pages. We want to stay in the headlines. We want to be the role models for people like the NFL, that their steroid tests has a hole in the bottom of the bucket a mile long, and, and the baseball and the boxing, that nobody tests for steroids. I mean, nobody's checked Mike Tyson or any of these good guys. I mean, yeah. I'm not speculating on anybody. Right. But the thing is, we'll know in a couple weeks exactly, you know, who is on steroids, who's not on steroids. And when you see me in the ring against my opponent, if the guy's bigger than me, you're going to know he's not on steroids, bottom right. line. So this whole thing, we look at it as a positive because this is good for us. I mean, we got trashed in the newspapers and by a bunch of people that were, you know, insinuating things. And if, if it was true or not, I mean, they just took it way, way, way far out on, on a limb. Yeah. And now it made us wake up and we're, we're going to prove and we're going to be the role models for all the other athletes and, and anybody else that is ready to drug test. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I mean, I wish, I wish the NFL, I wish the NFL would adapt Vince McMahon's new drug policy. Okay, Al Zedo mentioned that there is a growth hormone that can't be detected with some of the tests. Now, will the WWF test detect this growth hormone? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know anything about growth hormone. Uh, mm -hmm. Bottom line, I've heard several athletes say that growth hormone, several bodybuilders in the gym, you hear them talk that the growth hormone can't be detected or they take it before contests, but the bottom line, that's not my... That's my, not my subject. I don't know anything about it. I know. It. You were 800 pounds when you were five. Yeah. Uh, you know? No, <laughs> like, no but growth hormone, that's a whole different trip. That's something huge, new. Man, like that man you should see how many home runs I used to hit. I used to hit them on the inside of the handle and put them out over the fence. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard of this? I, I saw a guy on a program named Billy Graham, not the Reverend, but mm -hmm. a wrestler. What's up with him? Well, superstar Billy Graham, apparently, um, in the 70s, was one of the top wrestlers, one of the top draws. I was a big fan of his. And he just came out during all these drug trials and admitted steroid use and abuse. And basically, he's saying that these are all the reasons his body's falling apart. But basically, um, there have been several other wrestlers like Bruno San Martino, who didn't have any problem working with Billy Graham at the time. He's on steroids and putting all the money in his pocket that have completely turned into hypocrites and knocked Hulk Hogan and said Hulk Hogan's never seen the inside of a church. And I doubt if he even says his prayers. And there was, there's been all kind of allegations. But Billy Graham was a top draw during the 70s, and, and he apparently was a heavy-duty steroid abuser. Yeah. 
um, before we say goodbye, um, I know you called me and you wanted to come and and uh, straighten this thing out yes, and, 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 I appreciate and tell the you truth. Come out here. Yeah, would you like to say anything else to your hulkamaniacs? Well, I'll tell you, you know, um, steroids, like cocaine and a lot of other hard drugs or class three drugs, if that's what you want to call them, the federal government calls them, is a dead end street. And basically, um, as far as kids trying to get into athletics, and this is the 90s, the era of the fitness, stay away from those type of drugs because basically they're all kind of side effects and adverse reactions. And, from what I can tell you, I've got a wife and two kids, and I don't want to miss one second or do anything that's going to take one second away from my life to be with my wife and kids. And as far as these kids go, if you work hard, if you train 20 years like I do and start as soon as you can, I mean, you can get what you want out of your body. It just, it's a little more intense. You've got to be a little more uh, dedicated. And be a leader. Don't be a follower, because that's what this whole thing's all about. And that's what we're trying to bring to the, the front of the WWF and Hulk Hogan. We're a bunch of leaders, not a bunch of followers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, come on. Hey, hey. Um, uh, no, very quickly, and I have to ask you this question. Um, I was so sad when Lyle was here because, uh, you know, I, I, he, he's given a lot to, uh, to football mm -hmm. fans, and it made me so sad. What do you think about the guys who sell steroids, these doctors? Aren't they like pushers? What should happen to them? Um, gosh, I don't know. The only don't way... Don't mention specifically. No, no, no. no. The only way to, to, to get these steroids, apparently, is from doctors. And I mean, you know, I don't know what the government's going to do. I don't know if they're going to go after the guys that use them now or where they're going to go with this thing. But everybody needs to realize you can't get these things unless you get them from a doctor. Mm -hmm. And basically, I think if they could cut this thing off of the source, you know, they could straighten this whole deal out. And that's about all I get to say, yeah. you know? Because they're pushers, man. Well, I mean, you know, the steroids are illegal now, you know, and you cannot take them for, for bodybuilding or, or, or muscle development. But, but basically... Even the stuff that they gave you to help you heal... Uh, uh, well, well, that stuff is illegal now, but that yeah. stuff that they gave me, if you, if you have a muscle tear or you, you get injured like running in the Olympics and you have to decide whether you're going to get cut on or do the sports therapy, they are still an option. Mm -hmm. They are still legal if the doctor prescribes them for muscle tears and, and stuff like that. Right. But you cannot use this stuff and, and get away with it. Number one, it'll kill you. Number two, you're going to get busted. Yeah. 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 Thanks for coming by. Hey, man, what you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do when Hulk Hogan and Arsenio Hall run wild on you? We'll be back.